come together. Just be yourself, be comfortable. Hey loves, it's Chloe and welcome back to another episode. So sometimes it seems like our harshest critic can be our own self, but thankfully college is all about growing and finding strength and confidence. So I'm sure some of you out there are just like me, and I spend more time than I would care to admit fixating on all the things I don't like about myself and all the things I wanna change about myself. And with college just around the corner for me, I'm dying to know how people are able to turn negative thoughts into positive ones. So let's meet two college students who are embracing their whole selves and being incredible role models in the process. 20-year-old Mackenzie is all about advocating for increased mental health awareness, using her own story to help bring others into the conversation. I think this is a very important topic and one we need to discuss more. Originally, I thought that having both anxiety and depression would be just really hard on like my schoolwork, my studies, my social life, and I thought that like I couldn't be as successful as others because I had these things weighing down on me. I know it always makes me feel better when I force myself to be around other people because I know the people in my life make me happy and they make me feel loved and supported. Alia is a 22-year-old student who's found her power by pushing herself out of her comfort zone and she's someone I could learn a thing or 20 from. When someone offers me criticism, I used to take it negatively. I struggled with being negative towards myself and also like caring about what people say, but I've gotten so much better at it. So let's dive into both of these ladies' stories and strengths. So once I had high school, I'd say my confidence level was pretty low. I really struggled to find a group of people that I really just resonated with. I felt honestly like I was alone in what I was going through. I just felt like there was something wrong with me, and that's not the case at all. I grew up most of my life in Egypt. I lived like 15 minutes away from the pyramids, so that was interesting. <laughs> my parents, my grandmas, my grandpas, my uncles, my aunts, everyone lived there. I had so many different friends because like it's kind of a small world. <laughs> it was so hard to leave everyone and to just being in a different continent. I used to be a lot more shy. It would be hard for me like to talk to people. It was harder for me to be myself. So many of us are like Mackenzie and Alia, feeling pretty isolated in our own negativity. I can really relate to that. But thankfully, college is all about opening us up to self-acceptance. Now let's see how these fierce ladies are making a real impact on their campuses. Something I hope I'm able to do when I start college. So when I got to campus, I found out about the Ask, Listen, Save Club. And basically what we're working towards is gaining mental health resources all over the states of Wisconsin, the state of Illinois, so that no one has to go through the same things I went through alone. Right now I'm a general member of the Ask, Listen, Save Club. So I work on planning and just general duties but I'm hoping to get involved with some of the other committees. So we have out of the darkness walks that we put on. It's basically a big campus thing where we talk about mental health, we represent mental health, and so many people who do and do not struggle with it come together to show a commonality for the cause. I'm a part of a sorority here on campus, so I'm uh, the Panhellenic delegate. That means I get to communicate with all the other sororities. It's kind of hard sometimes to think in Arabic and speak in English, but it made me more confident in who I am. You get to go to a weekly meeting. We discuss each sorority, like what's happening, what's happening in the Panhellenic community. So because of Pink's new Girl Power campaign, self-love and bringing people together is something that I value very highly in my own personal life. That's a motto that we value in Ask, Listen, Save. Everything kind of brings together the idea of self-love and being the best version of yourself. Being part of Pink definitely helped me come out of my shell because now I just talk to like random people and just like get girls to come to campus and go to our events. It's definitely like made me more confident in who I am. I feel like I can be myself around people now. 
So I learned that after coming forward and making myself vulnerable about my mental health, there are a majority of people who also struggle with similar things. It is super helpful to be able to talk about it and for people to actually come to me and get the resources they need to get better. So before I moved here, I was a cup half empty type of person. Now I enjoy my own company and I love having my best friends around. I can just be friends with everyone. If I can go back and give young Alia some advice, I'd probably say get involved. One thing I learned was what I thought was a flaw ended up connecting me with so many other people, both around campus, around the areas of Wisconsin, Illinois, even the US, and we're all working towards the same thing because of what I thought was a flaw in myself to begin with. Alia and Mackenzie are just a few examples of girls who are leading the charge of self-acceptance in college. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed and be sure to tune in for the next one because I'll be continuing the series on college girl profiles. Comment below something about yourself you used to think was an imperfection, but now you embrace. Check out Pink's YouTube channel to learn more and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.